Drop it. Hello, my name is Nur Ala Binti Ismail from Sekolah Menengah Sains Tengun. And my hope is that our research can provide a better environment in an online class. Hi, I am Nor Kamila Aina binti Muhammad Kamal. I hope this research will give a lot of knowledge and new information about the paradigm shift in education. Hi, my name is Tuan Mama Al-Farham bin Tuan Arshad from SM Science The World. I hope our research can help students in education. Hi, my name is Muhammad Waizuddin Mabini from SM Science Dungut and I hope our project can be acceptable by education purpose. First and foremost, we will go through the introduction. No conventional future lens is a research made to identify the effectiveness of online learning, specifically in social Asia, as the paradigm of teaching and learning has been shifted due to the spread of COVID-19. In our research, we will find out what is the most problems and obstacles that students are facing, and we will try our best to provide the best solution so that students can enjoy the environment of online classes. In students' mindset nowadays, they are not be able to pursue their study as they can't even sit in their exam peacefully without any hesitation. Furthermore, some of the students are able to sit in their examination with an open book even though it is not an open book test. There are three ways in conducting our research. The first one will provide questions in Google Form or Microsoft Suite. The questions will consist about opinion, feelings and schedule. They are all simple questions. Next, we will call students that have the lowest mark and we will ask them further questions such as what can we do to provide an effective online classes. And lastly, we will call some of the teachers to ask how do they conduct their classes and how do students respond in their classes. I will pass the presentation to Nor Kamila Aida. The results that we got are 70% of students that answer the Google Forms questions are groaning in allocation problems. One of the questions is, can you focus in your classes? If you can't, why? Most of them answer that they barely focus in their classes because of their own responsibilities and distractions. So, I decided to call one of the 70% students and he said that he don't know how to manage his schedule, didn't understand the explanation that given by teachers and lost motivation. He also said that he might fail in his education according to how he couldn't afford this new lifestyle. Furthermore, we also decided to call one of the 30% students that has a good result based on the questions in the Google form. She said that she managed to arrange her schedule even she has a lot of responsibilities. She always asks her teachers and her friends what's the problems that she has. She also do revision after the classes and motivates herself. So, these sub things is not just about learning. It's also concluded the teaching suite. So, we had called five teachers. They say that students didn't respond to their questions and didn't submit their tasks and homework. There are just one to five students that are very active. They submit their tasks on time and ask questions. Two-way communication is disappearing in this online class learning system. We also had found out one of the problem is the platform that had be used, such as Google Meets and Zoom, consume a lot of data. This affects the students and the teachers. Sometimes, either students can attend their classes or teachers can do their classes because of the unstable internet connection. So, let's move on to our solution that will be presented by Tuan Muhammad Arif Farhan. Solution. The solution from our research for a better online classes and development due to the dating shift are Firstly, for the 70% student, we will give some motivation and try to arrange their schedule. 
we will try to motivate them so that they can stay focused in classes and do some revision about what they had learned that day. Push more, we will encourage them to be more open with their teacher, ask everything that they don't understand and use two-way communication in classes. In this way, the teacher will be able to see either the student understand or not what they had taught. We also suggest teachers to change the platform to Microsoft Teams. This is because the other platforms such as Google Meet and Zoom consume too many internet data and some of parents and students can't afford to subscribe too much internet data for online classes. Next, after two weeks, we will call them again to ask if our solution has a provide a better come out or not so that we can say our research is effective or in way. Lastly, they can finally attend the new lifestyle with Maradi That's all from me. I will pass to the next presenter, Muhammad Waizuddin. In the nutshell, we have four things to point out. The first one is the level of effectiveness of online classes is decreasing. This happens because students can't stay focused in classes and some of problems may be factors too. Next, some of the students can't afford this new lifestyle as it is by the young shift requires a lot of things to be considered as data and technology. Other than that, students and teachers have lost motivation due to follow of MCO. Last but not least, two ways to motivation between teachers and students in online class is very important to Our research can be used for online learning improvement. Thank you.